Hey friends, welcome back to Bloomo Home and Garden and today we are going to be talking about this little 4 inch battery operated chainsaw that I picked up recently off of Amazon. Now when I'm home alone my husband really doesn't like me to use the bigger power tools by myself and I understand and is concerned that I'm going to hurt myself and I understand because accidents do happen. And as I get older, it is getting a little more challenging to operate that, those heavy pieces of equipment. So I thought this little four inch baby would be just what I need. And so we're gonna put it together, see how well it does. And I will link it down below in the description box. If this is something that turns out well and we all like it, you'll be able to follow the link to pick it up on Amazon yourself. And if it's something that we do not like, you will know uh, which one it is so that you can avoid it as well. I have several fall chores I really want to get to and this should be just the perfect tool to get it done. I have not yet opened the box. We're going to open it together and do our unboxing together. Okay, just a piece of foam. Oh! It's a little carrying case. How cool is that? Instructions, a screwdriver, a one quarter inch, four inch chain. Oh, so you get a bonus chain. How cool is that? Um, battery charger. And we're actually going to go ahead and, while we figure this out, get our battery charging because most likely with most power equipment the battery doesn't come with a great charge so we're just going to open up our charger plug it in and then we're just going to insert this into the wall Next in the box is just this and this and I don't see a bar. So let's figure that out. Here is our bar. Okay, so I'm guessing this goes. Let's now. our user manual. And now we're just going to start assembling our little saw and I want to walk you through this in real time just because if you're not good with directions or sometimes these little tools are a little confusing, it's the same for me. I am a hands-on kind of person and so I want to walk through in real time so you can see exactly how this goes together. So the first thing we do is remove that little cover and who else loves it when they include tools in something that you buy and then you just have those tools for your stash. That's super cool. So. The next step is to take the bar of the chainsaw and open the chain. And we're just going to put that chain on the chainsaw. Now, they go in a certain direction with the teeth going one direction. It's a little confusing, but they did include a photo of how the teeth should be coming off of the bar. And so I'm just lining it up and just double checking making sure I have it correct because I remember that there is a right way and a wrong way and you definitely want this the right way. And there are little grooves all along the bar and you're just going to start with one tooth and then it pretty much lines up really easy and then you just wrap it around and they all go in those grooves and then you just have the part that is gonna go on the spinner. I don't know if that's the technical term, but that's the term we're calling it, the spinner. And there are the blade holder, and then there's a little button that sticks up, and it's supposed to hold the bar secure. 
and you're supposed to be able to just set that on there and that's going to stick up and come up through the hole and hold the bar secure. I found that very challenging. I struggled with that for a couple minutes trying to figure it out. As you can see here, I did have a little bit of a problem with it. So I decided I was going to take that screw out and that's what that screwdriver is for is to adjust that. So I pop that screw out and then that little knob that's supposed to stick up to hold the bar intact is movable. You So you, I moved it down the screw as far as I thought it needed to go so that it would line up with the bar and hold it secure. And that worked. So that is the key in doing that. Don't try to do it when it's in the position that it's in. That's how I did it and it worked for me. I also want to mention that that chain is a little sharp. So maybe have on a glove um, if you've never handled a chain before. They are pretty sharp, so I would handle it very carefully. Now I'm just securing that screw all the way in there just to make sure that it is secure and it's not going anywhere. And that is, again, why they included that screwdriver. Once that is done, we have the cover on. I put the cover on and then did that. Um, and that holding that cover on really is helpful. It helps the bar and chain not to move. The chain doesn't come off the bar and the bar doesn't move. So having that cover on to adjust that screw is really good. Had a little struggle here trying to get that little nut back on, but it's all good. Now we're just going to put the battery on and see if we got it ready. We did, woohoo, I'm so excited. Now let's see how it works. Okay guys, here we are outdoors and I am going to use this on some branches to show you just some samples of how it cuts and the thickness or diameter of the branches that it cuts through. Now remember guys, always safety first, glasses, and all safety equipment before you dive into using a power tool. The first branch I cut, it kind of didn't want to go forward, but it cut it from behind. And I thought, okay, I must have the chain on backward. But as I used it, no, I didn't have the chain on backward. I don't know why it did that. But all the rest of them that I cut, it seemed to cut perfectly fine. As it does here, it just cuts through perfectly. So that might have been user error the first time. Not quite sure what happened, but I didn't have another problem after that. And I just gradually moved up to cutting thicker branches. And as you see here, it's a really nice clean cut. Now I'm going to try the very top. This cuts up to three inches. And this is three, maybe a little more in diameter. And I've been wanting to make some of those small wooden discs for decorating, maybe Christmas ornaments, all kinds of things. And so I wanted to be able to use something that was quicker than a handsaw. So I thought this would work out just fine. And as you can see here, it's really working well. And I did not put a lot of pressure on this. I had my shoulder rebuilt a few years ago, as you know, and so I don't have a lot of strength to push on that. And it cut the perfect little disc for me. And you can see it's a very nice, clean cut. So this worked well. Okay friends, now I'm ready to give you my review of this little chainsaw. Now you've seen I cut down a lot of limbs and yes, some of them were tiny and really pruners could have come in handy. If you have one or two little limbs to trim off, pruners are fine, but the squeezing and doing that for a lot of limbs can be very tiring. And we have a lot of trees on our property and it's not usually trimming one or two at a time. So what I think of this overall, the way I really like how light it is. For its size, it does have a lot of gumption. Now I did all of these trimmings, boom, 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 right in a row within five or 10 minutes. And I put the battery on before the battery was fully charged. I think I had it on there just the amount of time I was putting it together. So it was not fully charged. The light had not turned green yet. So that was on a low battery. And now I will go in and I will definitely charge this to full. 
Um, as far as noise, it's not super loud. It does, when you have the trigger pull and you're in there, it does have a lot of pull forward. So you do have to have some control with it. You do have to hold it and steady it. And um, a little more pull than I thought it was going to have. So I guess it's just, you know, a little more power. And as you can see, even with a lower battery, it powered through even the big stuff. So for what I'm going to use this for, I think it was a really good deal. Now, this was not the most expensive. This was not the cheapest. I kind of feel like when I'm purchasing things that if you get the most expensive, you're paying for sometimes bells and whistles that you will not use or just a name. And if you get the cheapest, you're probably gonna get what you pay for. So I kind of go in the middle and I think this was a great bargain at the price. I will be looking for an extra battery because if I'm out here working a full day and you know, I'm working a couple hours, I, I do want a backup battery for sure. So I will be looking for another battery. If I find that, I will be sure to link. The now this does not have an on off switch. So if you're holding it like this, you're gonna turn it on. So if you're gonna be walking around with it and there's others around you, even yourself, you wanna be careful and maybe just take the battery off and put the battery on each time. Um, just for an extra safety measure. But in my personal opinion, as a girl who uses a lot of power tools and does a lot of outside work, 10 out of 10, I would buy this again. Now, I've just used it this afternoon. If that changes, I will add an update to this video. But um, I've pretty much seen enough. I've used a lot of tools, so I know kind of what to expect. And I was out here using this all by myself. And... Um, hubby didn't mind at all. So you could get hurt doing anything, that's for sure, but just lifting a big huge chainsaw and moving it around and that gets tiresome during the day. So this works just perfect for me for the little things that I'm doing. I like to have this on the lawnmower um, and that was one one of the main reasons I picked this up was because when I'm on the lawnmower and I'm mowing and there's a limb in my way, I can just zoop and have it gone. <laughs> And, and move it off to the side. So, and that's the time when you really know when they're in your way is when you're actually on the mower. You know, if you're walking around, you may be a different height than when you're on the mower. So that was my main purpose for getting this. And like I said, I do have some fall trimming to do and I think I will be using this little tool. So thanks so much for stopping by. I will be sure to link this in the description box, as I said, so if you wanna pick one up for yourself, if you live in the warmer climate, there's still plenty of time to get the work done. Till next time, guys, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.